Now, by the way, based upon what we just talked about with Satan, uh, I think we had a very pathetic kind of representation on the stage of the Grammys. If you want a much better one, you can check out the show that is linked below and also on the screen now. Um, of course, watch the end of this show and then go back and you can go binge past episodes of the Indie Thinker. But in the past, I talked about Satan and gave a much better kind of representation of historically what Satan is and and what kind of his tactics are. Um, and, and obviously, somebody prancing around in devil horns is just merely an attempt to try to make religious people angry. And should we give him what he wants? I don't know, but I definitely think we should get angry about the degradation of, of society and, more importantly, get active about seeing what we can do about it. Uh, but in, in, in light of that, if you are going to do something about it, it's important to know the, the best kind of lies and how they impact your life and why Satan is called a liar from the beginning, and so you need to check out the past show to do that. And speaking of lies, um, I wanted to start with something that's a, a major throwback, but something that I think a lot of people either maybe don't know even exists or something that I hope you have seen and want to remind you about it if you have seen it. But I, but I would dare to venture to guess that the vast majority of people who are watching the show right now have never seen An Open Secret, which is a 2014 documentary exposing the sexual abuse of children in Hollywood. Here's a quick trailer for that documentary. I think every little kid dreams about being famous and being in movies. This is California. This is where you make it. This is where it all starts. You'll get signed by a label. You can star on Disney Channel. You know, what kid wouldn't want that, right? <laughs> I remember you asked me if I ever did anything with a guy before. I was not interested at 12. You're not recording this, right? Looks like an angel. Hollywood doesn't have any system in place to protect anybody. And children are way down on that list. Children need management just like everybody else. Walk like an angel. Everybody liked him. He became part of the family. In the beginning, it was happy, and then things started changing. Oh, you talk like an angel. They pick on people who they know will be victims. You have an adult who is manipulating the child. Like an angel. He's getting, you know, hired on the spot like that. That had never happened before. It was obvious that something was going on. You fool me. The party made me feel uncomfortable. There were lots of drugs available, and there were young teenage boys. I remember being scared. He just told me, this is what you have to do. A number of boys told me we point the gun at them just like that. He said, do you not understand the power I have? Yo, the devil in the sky. I remember sitting in my room and crying my eyes out. And he said, what would you do? That happened to me. A lot of investors completely denied that anything was going on. Clearly, the studio didn't want an investigation. I hate it when you tried to have me sleep in your bed and touch me. I don't know anything about that. There will always be a steady stream of kids who want to be famous. We're absolutely talking about the tip of an iceberg. Now, outside of the incredible... Uh, job that was done by these documentarians. I, I wanted to show this to you so that you could watch it for yourself, but so also that you could be aware of something if you are not already aware of it that should stir up our ire. And that is that there are two groups of people in, in Hollywood that uh, you need to be aware of. And these are people who are being used by diabolical people. And then there are people who are intentionally trying to use the system of Hollywood to, uh, to abuse and scandalize others, to use and abuse people and specifically to prey upon the most innocent among us. And the reason I showed you the trailer and am plugging this, this documentary is because this documentary exposes that thing very, very well. There's a lot of people who were just going to parties and underage kids were there, but then there were agents who were actively trying to lure kids in and, and, and abuse them sexually or to sex traffic them to others in Hollywood who wanted to abuse these children sexually. So it's a very difficult watch, but I think it's a much needed watch. And the more we can kind of pull our head out of the sand and actually pay attention to what's going on around us, the better. Uh, there's one more aspect of the intentionality here that's important to note. Now, I'm spoiling a little bit of the end of the documentary, but not too much. And in the end of the documentary, you'll see one of these intentional 
uh, diabolical agents who was attempting not only to lure kids in to sexually abuse them, but then also somebody who was also actively fighting to lower the age of consent for children so that this man could actively abuse kids. Now, this was all the way back in 2014, which doesn't seem so long ago, but almost 10 years ago. Um, and, and, and back then, and you can trust way before that, we were seeing people who believed this divergent sexuality uh, that we're seeing crop up now in the present in such odd ways. Um, they believed in a divergent sexuality that we are seeing crop up more and more all the time in the present, a left-wing gender ideology that was being exposed in this film all the way back in 2014. But it was being exposed in a very particular way that we have yet to see mainstream, but I believe that we will. So this is more of a prophetic kind of critique, I guess, if anything. And that divergent sexual attraction is, of course, for adult men to be attracted attracted to young boys. Now, again, we've seen divergent left-wing sexual ideology in the present. We've seen people express their desire to be the opposite sex based upon a feeling, okay? And then we've even seen the Respect for Marriage Act try to undermine and diminish what marriage actually is in America or try to redefine what marriage actually is, leaving the question open, regardless of what you think on the issue of homosexuality, leaving the question open, what is marriage actually? And can we make, can we allow an adult to marry an animal? Can we allow an adult to marry a child? Like if we're not going to put strictures around marriage, then, then doesn't that open wide the definition of marriage? And, and this is the case in terms of this documentary. The left wing gender ideology that we're now seeing in the trans movement opens up the door to a, a slippery slope of adults coming out of the closet to say, I am in love with children, or perhaps even I am a child, therefore it's not wrong for me to be sexually active with another child because I identify as one. Um, this, this illogical step that we're taking in society is something that we should do something about. And I hope that we can be awakened to the reality that there is a group of people in society that will start coming more and more and more to tell us that they are sexually attracted to children and that that is how they were made. And if they were made that way, then how can it be wrong? After all, if the only expression of truth that we believe as a society is how we feel, then we're relegated to this kind of stuff more and more. And here's why I have to say, if you are not angry about this, then you are incapable of actually speaking as a moral authority on anything. The kind of people that go after kids should spark the ire not only of Christians, that better be the case, but also of unbelievers. Because whenever kids are on the chopping block, that's when a good society must stand up and stand in the way of anybody going after kids. So you just got done watching a small excerpt of a much larger episode. You can find the link to that full episode down below in the description of this video. So you definitely want to check that out because if you like that clip, you'll like the much larger episode. And while you're at it, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click that little bell to be notified when great new episodes of Indie Thinker come your way. Thanks for watching.